All right, my people, next segment is going to be talking about um, the young adult books in our library and how we handle young adult books in the library. Um, young adult books, by the way, are books that have content in them that are, is probably appropriate for maybe upper middle school and high school. Um, so that content may include language, may include um, like serious family situations, um, may include violence, might include, um, oh, people make a now, stuff like that. You know what I'm, I'm talking about. But um, all the books that are young adult in our library are marked. And the mark on those books looks like this. It's a blue sticker that's on the barcode. And that some of those blue stickers will have eighth grade written on it. Some of them will not. Some of them will just be a blue sticker. They both mean the same thing. It doesn't matter. Um, long time ago, we only let eighth graders check out young adult books, but we've kind of changed the way we do that now. So the way that that's done now, um, in the summertime, your mom and dad registered you for school. And one of the questions they have to answer during registration is, can I check out a young adult book? Yes or no. So it explains to mom and dad what that is, and then they can choose if you can or if you cannot check out a young adult book. Um, this is true for sixth grade, seventh grade, and eighth grade. So if a student comes up and they want to check out a young adult book, we have to check and see what mom said. Yes, they could check out a young adult book. No, they could not. Um, we have to check it if they're in sixth grade. We have to check it if they're in seventh grade, and we have to check it if they're in eighth grade. And uh, whatever mom and dad said about that, that is what we do. Mom and dad, if they said yes, then it's fine. They can check out the book. If mom and dad say no, we are not allowed to check that book out to them without a letter from mom and dad. Um, can people change whether or not it says yes or no? If their parents write us a letter asking us to change it, we can send it to the Board of Ed and the Board of Ed can change that in atrium for us. But, um, but for the most part, whatever mom says, that's what goes, okay? So let's say that Caitlin, we're back with Caitlin again, she comes up, she wants to check out a book. Um, this is the book that she's brought up. It's Drama by Telegmeyer. Um, we flip it over to the back, we're getting ready to check it out to her and we see that it has a blue sticker on it. So that means we know this book is a young adult book and we need to check and see if she has permission to check the book out or not. So I want us to take a look at her record real quick. Um, under Caitlin's name, there are a couple of um, notes down here and this is on every, every single person's uh, record. And one of the things down here, it says young adult. And next to young adult, it will either say yes or no. And that is whatever mom and dad said during registration. So in this case, Caitlin has got permission to check out young adult books. So that means that we can go ahead and scan this book and check it out to her. Now I'll go ahead and tell you scanning some of these books, let me hold it close. Scanning some of these books is kind of challenging because sometimes the blue sticker covers up all of the vertical black lines on the barcode. And if that's the case, and you cannot get your scanner to get to that bottom little row, sometimes it's possible, like right then, I just did it. Um, but I didn't have my cursor in the box. Let me try that again. There we go. So sometimes you're able to scan it. In this case, you can see it's in the queue. I just scanned it. But sometimes you're not. So I'm going to go ahead and just pretend like this is not there. I'm going to get rid of it by clicking the clear items box and it's going to clear it out of the queue. I'm going to pretend like I can't scan it because that happens a lot. If you are not able to scan a book uh, because of the blue sticker or for any other reason, sometimes you have to type the number in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and we have to type the whole number. So I'm going to use my keypad over here. 8481. And then once you have the number keyed into our little box, you can go ahead and hit enter and it should add the book to the queue. So let me try that. There it is. Um, if you typed in the wrong number, 
it will give that coach's whistle sound again and it'll let you know that that is not, um, that number doesn't go with the book in our library. So you just have to try and enter the number in again, just be real slow and take your time and you'll get it. Um, this book is still not checked out to Caitlin. Remember it's in the queue separate from her record. I want to join those two together. So I'm going to click the checkout button. It's going to make that fairy sound. Um, if I close this window, hopefully I see the book now right under Caitlin's name and it's checked out to her. Uh, so there you go, guys. That is how uh, you handle young adult if someone comes up to you wanting to check out a young adult book.